It's Magic Monday. No. It's Tuesday. Wait a minute. It's Teach Tuesday, and today I'm going to teach you a magic trick. All right, today we're going to be learning a card trick. Now, this is a very simple card trick, but I don't want that to discourage you right away. This is simple, but that doesn't mean it's not effective and it doesn't impress people, because it does. I've done it for people many, many times. It was one of the first card tricks I've ever learned. Chances are you may have, uh, may have seen this one before. Um, maybe you know how to do this one already, but don't discredit it. It is an amazing trick, and I think you guys will like it. So I'm going to show you what the card trick would look like first from uh, the spectator's perspective, and then I'll go into the explanation. So this is what would happen. I would have you pull out a card. Doesn't matter what it is, I don't know what it is, but you take a look at it, you show it around everybody, and you remember that card. You place that back on top, you give the cards a couple of cuts, and then you spread them out face up on the table. Now my fingertips look normal, they're actually very sensitive, and they can pick up on any changes in heat. And you're hanging onto that card a little bit longer than any of the others, which means I should be able to detect which card is yours. Now it's definitely cooler over this side. I'm getting some warmth over here. In fact, I'm getting the sense that you may have picked the Ace of Spades. Is that your card? So here's how that works. You spread out the cards, you have somebody pick one. They pull it out, they show it around everybody, and at this point you legitimately do not know what that card is. All you have to do is when they're showing that around everybody, you're turned away. All you have to do is remember the bottom card. In this case, the King of Diamonds. That's going to be our key card. So your card that you're remembering, the key card, is on the bottom of the deck. They show their card around everybody. You turn around, you have them place their card back on top, and you're now going to cut the cards. And what this is going to do is put your card, the King of Diamonds, right on top of their card. So they're now sandwiched together. Now, they can cut the cards as many times as they want, and even if they happen to split the cards, it won't make a difference. I'll show you in a minute. And then cut them and cut them, and when you spread the cards out, left to right, all you have to do is look for your key card, so in this case, the King of Diamonds, and you know that their card will be the one right next to it, the Six of Spades. Now, the rest of the trick is really just the presentation. So in mine, I, I you know, made up something about being able to detect heat with my fingertips and being able to feel which card was the warmest because they hung on to it. But you could literally make up any story you wanted. It could be something with x-ray vision. It could be a CSI presentation where you examine their fingerprint uh, and then look at the cards and look for fingerprints on the cards. Whatever you want. Uh, and that is what really makes this trick because it is a basic card trick, but... It's all in the presentation. And a lot of magic, it comes down to the presentation. That's it. Now, I'm sure you might be wondering, what if I'm cutting the cards and I happen to cut them apart? All that does is puts the cards back to where you start. So for example, if our cards are the King of Diamonds and the Jack of Clubs, and you're cutting and cutting and cutting, and you happen to cut them apart, our key card, the King of Diamonds, is on the bottom, and their card is on top. You can think about this, the way we got them together was one was on top, one was on bottom, and we cut them together. So if you cut them apart, it just puts them at the top and bottom of the deck. So, if you spread out the cards and you happen to know that your key card is at the very bottom, you know that their card is all the way back at the top of the deck. Uh, one little sort of safety check you can do is before you spread the cards out, just take a glance and see if your card's on the bottom. If it is, all you have to do is cut the cards and they go right back together. So really, as long as you don't shuffle the cards, there's no way to mess this up. Shuffling will change the order, but cutting the cards only changes where the sequence starts and ends. It's a little tough to, to wrap your head around, uh, but as long as you cut the cards, you're safe. Just don't shuffle them. I hope you guys like that. I hope my teaching of it made sense uh, and of course practice 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 that's one of the main rules in magic uh, you got to know that trick that presentation inside out uh, before you really perform it for people so feel comfortable with it and then do it for friends and family show them first uh, people that you can trust so that way if it does go wrong uh, you know no big deal
try it out. Let me know if it works or if it doesn't work. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you uh, have any suggestions or any other ideas. Uh, or if you need any help, feel free to message me and I'll, I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week with another Magic Monday. Oh, wait.